integral of square root of tan x dx divided by sin x cos x. Now we know tan x equals to sin x by cos x. Let us do one thing. We will go to the denominator and multiply with cos x and also divide with cos x. Because when I divide with cos x in the denominator, we will have sin x by cos x equals to tan x. So the denominator will become now sin x by cos x into cos square x which can be simplified as numerator will be square root of tan x whatever is given to us and in the denominator we got tan x and also cos square x 1 by cos square x is secant square x dx now by this time you have clarity that we have to take tan x equals to t because secant square x dx will become dt then and the integral will become much much simpler so let us say tan x equals to t secant square x dx will become dt now let us change from x to t. We will have integral of square root of t by t into dt. Square root of t divided by t into dt. Square root of t divided by t is 1 by t to the power of 1 by 2 or can we write it as t to the power of minus 1 by 2 t to the power of minus 1 by 2 dt, we will apply the formula now. Integral of x power n equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, this becomes t power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1, which is t power 1 by 2 by 1 by 2, which is equals to 2 into t to the power of 1 by 2 or 2 into root t plus c. But what is our t? Our t is tan x. So, our answer will be 2 into square root of tan x plus c. So, integral of square root of tan x dx by sin x cos x equals to 2 root tan x plus c.